the Women's Committee of the National Association of Athletic Administration of Trinidad and Tobago held its fourth annual symposium on Saturday, 3rd November at the Capitol Plaza Hotel in Port of Spain, Trinidad. The theme of this year's symposium was Building Self-Esteem. Chairperson of the Women's Committee, Loquisha Warner Burns, shares with TrackAlerts.com the idea behind the theme and the outcome of this year's symposium. The theme chosen for this year's topic is to bring about more awareness to the young participants. And at the end of the day, we expect them to build and boost more confidence in themselves. This is the fourth year you all are hosting it. Tell us, um, after four years, are you all satisfied? Are you think you are making headway into lifting, as this year, the self-esteem of the young female athletes? Yes, we started in the year 2008. We are now in the year 2012. And this year, participation in the symposium is even greater than what we had in 2011. And it seems that we're going from strength to strength. And parents and even the participants of themselves is asking for a repeat of this program in 2013. So we are now looking ahead, although it is still ongoing, but we still are looking ahead and we have to start planning for our next symposium in year 2013. Coming out of this success, this program, it means that all athletes are coming on board with it. And um, as a role model, as Kelly and Buddy, to name one, and Simoy Hackett, they all are wanting to use those two athletes in particular as role models. So at least we are seeing that we're making some form of progress in these sort of events. And it's always good to have these events coming aboard, so at least we will keep a track on all our young budding athletes that is in the future and lies ahead of us. Lucretia Warner Burns, chairperson of the NTRA's Women's Committee. We will now hear from NTRA's President Efren Surratt on his thoughts on this year's symposium. We had a very good turnout, uh, over 150 persons would have participated in the program. Um, what we continue to do is try to build for the female athletes in our in our in the fraternity and more now over the last couple of years our athletes, female athletes are positioning themselves on the international stage with Kelly and Batises, uh, we have Josa Lucas, we have Simon Hackett and the, our relay team that participated in the World Championships last year as well as the Olympics. So we want to encourage our female athletes to, to be on par with the, 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 the male athletes. Um, we are seeing it in the school, they are doing better than the boys in school and we expect them to do the same on the field. So um, the, the program is really to assist them, to help them develop. We're looking at the holistic development of the athletes, both in, in, in for, for, track and speed, for track and field. So it's a, it's a program that we're doing to encourage our female athletes and to, to develop and to, to represent her and to be able to is President Ephraim Serrett giving his thoughts on the fourth symposium held on Saturday, 3rd November at the Capital Plaza Hotel. The featured speaker was former sports minister Marilyn Gordon. Ms. Gordon, a former national track and field representative and hockey player, spoke on the theme communicating to bridge a generation gap. Ms. Gordon shared of her interactions with her 14-year-old grandson, which helped her to understand the issues that young people are facing today. How much more activities are available for them and opportunities? And the, the task is to get them to understand that and to make sure that they don't let those opportunities go by. And in those days, um, say female folks, um, field athletes who were very scarce commodities. They didn't find too many women taking part in that. So, and as I said during the presentation, in our first trip to to uh, the West Indies Games in 1960, there were five women that went out. By 62, a few more. There were a few more. But we were still a tiny contingent now. Women are, are coming to their own. They're coming forward and they're doing well. And I, I expect sooner rather than later that they will come into the medals at the Olympic and World Games. 
former sports minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Marilyn Gordon. Other presenters included Ms. Akila Riley, who spoke on understanding self and others, Mrs. Lystra Francis, how to build self-esteem, and Olympic rifle shooter Roger Daniel, who told the young ladies to set their goals and be positive. You have been looking at highlights of the fourth annual symposium hosted by the Women's Committee of the National Association of Athletics Administration of Trinidad and Tobago. The symposium took place on Saturday, 3rd November at the Capital Plaza Hotel in Port of Spain, Trinidad. The theme of the symposium was building self-esteem. The members of the Women's Committee are Lucretia Burns, Chairperson, Joyce Thomas, Dawn Washington, Michelle Stout Lopez, Evelyn Ferreira Laria, and Clarietta George. I am Clayton Clark for TrackAlerts.com. TrackAlerts from start to finish.